Welcome to the Audio Design Desk Quick Start Guide, and thanks for choosing our software. Let's jump right in. To import video, right-click in this viewer window and select Open Remote Video. Here you can pull in a video from YouTube or Vimeo. Put in your link and press Open. Your video will be downloaded and imported quickly, along with any audio it contains. Or, if you already have a video file you'd like to use, right-click and select Open Video. Track down the file and click Open. Audio Design Desk is really great for performing sounds. Press the space bar and press D for Drone, T for Transition, R for Rise and H for Hit. You can find a list of these along with many other types of sounds in the Triggers menu. Here's our composition. Audio Design Desk can replace your sound while maintaining sync. Select all by pressing Command A, then type Command R to replace. Another great feature in Audio Design Desk is the ability to assign triggers. We'll add some footsteps. Let's choose concrete and sneakers. Right click to assign trigger to key number one. Then when we press one, Audio Design Desk will place the footsteps of this type into our timeline. Let's just solo those tracks and take a listen. You can drag sounds into the trigger menu and perform whatever sounds you want. Let's try a few fight sounds. And let's hear that. That's quite good, but I think I might like to try some alternative punch sounds. So let's just zoom in and take a closer look. Here's one way to select any and all sounds of a particular kind on your timeline. Go to the Select drop-down menu, into Subtype, and click on the sound in question. In this case, Punch Knuckle. Now that they're selected on my timeline, I'll go into this search section on the left, and maybe this time I'll try Punch Torso. So I'll select these, and with my existing punch sounds still selected on the timeline, I'm going to press Shift Return. And as you can see, that's replaced each punch, keeping the synchronization with the picture precise, of course. If you want to adjust the level of any clip on the timeline, just select it and press Shift and the up or down arrow key on the keyboard. Also, to nudge the clip left or right, press the comma or period keys on the keyboard. Once you're happy with what you've created, just go to File, Bounce to export your finished mix. You can select Export Video to export a complete file with both sound and video. For video, you might want to select Same as Source. Type in a name and press Return to save. You can see here I've exported the video with the sounds embedded, as well as a separate WAV file of just the sound. Thanks for watching the Quick Start Guide.